Yo, what up basketball fans and welcome back to the vlog Hari ini kita long journey nih guys <laughs> Dari Los Angeles kita akan ke Bandung Untuk ngeliput Borneo Hornbills melawan Prawira Harum Bandung Super excited, the IBL is back uh, Nanti gue kayaknya mendaratnya jam 8 pagi Dan wish gue jam 11 pagi guys Jadi semoga everything gonna go smoothly Dan juga semoga kita gak ketinggalan wish kita sih Tapi excited banget sih untuk ke Gor Citra hari ini Karena of course uh, Borneo Hornbills new look juga Dengan dua pemain asing baru ya itu Michael Qualls dan juga of course Steven Taylor and pelatih baru congratulations kepada Coach Mail uh, well deserved sih opportunity ini excited juga untuk melihat dia ngelatih di game pertamanya and Prawira Harum Bandung sebenarnya gue dateng untuk melihat game pertamanya Brandon Francis karena gue yakin game pertama pasti hype banget dan juga pasti akan sold out tapi saya Brandon Francis ini kayaknya masih OTW ke Indonesia sekarang ini but it's all good masih ada Yuda yang baru jadi cover juga dari uh, operasi Amandol dan juga Prawira ada dua pemain asing baru yang gue juga penasaran sih ada Euroleague le legend yaitu James Gis and of course Antonio Hester juga so it should be a very exciting game sih jadi cannot wait to get to Bandung later on finally kita nonton IBA lagi kita ngeliput IBA lagi super super excited tapi sebelum kita perjalanan jauh guys <laughs> karena kita akan menuju Jepang dulu sekarang ini setelah itu Singapura baru Bandung guys jadi nanti gua akan coba untuk rekam si vlog gua kali ini and sebelum itu of course kita harus makan dulu guys kita harus load up Panda Express guys Panda Express is lit though sekarang ini di sana <laughs> so we got nasi goreng we got chow mein Uh, honey walnut shrimp dan juga orange chicken the best in the world guys ini di Indonesia belum ada sih misalnya lain we got diet coke yang udah gak ada di Indonesia <laughs> bacaan kita hari ini Tires Maxi dan juga Slam Magazine so itulah sedikit opening dari gue once again thank you so much guys for always supporting the vlog jangan lupa untuk nonton secara full kasih like kasih komen dan pertama kalinya gue akan birthday di pesawat <laughs> and kalau kalian mau kasih gue birthday gift gampang guys easy the best birthday gift adalah kalian daftar jadi member support channel ini agar gue bisa ngeliput basket terus dan juga bisa ngomongin basket dengan kalian terus so once again really appreciate everybody and now it's time for me to eat dan setelah ini kita akan perjalanan mungkin sekitar 24 jam sih untuk bisa menuju ke Bandung so yeah I'll see you guys again in a little bit dan guys, sekarang kita udah dalam pesawat dan ini akan menjadi our longest leg dari LA ke Tokyo karena terbangnya akan lumayan jauh sih terbang sini uh, nggak keluar di flight, nah itu dia tuh 11 jam 31 menit, kok bisa fokus nah akhirnya bisa fokus jadi ya lumayan lama sih, so we just gonna watch some youtube mungkin juga baca majalah, dengerin lagu dan mungkin kok bisa tidur 6 jam ya, kalau bisa tidur 6 jam tuh udah oke okay banget sih jadi kalau so gitu guys, gua gonna rest first and then I'm gonna see you when we get to Tokyo Narita kita baru aja mendarat di Narita kita ada transit sekitar sejam di sini sebelum kita terbang lagi ke Singapura and now <laughs> ini gua merayakan birthday gua sedikit lah di sini birthday cuma sejam di sini <laughs> kita makan sushi dulu ini ada salmon dan juga ada shrimp kalau di sini sih sushinya sih the best guys nggak ada yang ngalahin sama sekali open a little bit sad I cannot spend my birthday with my family or my wife But ya yeah, ini comes with the job, you gotta make sacrifices kadang-kadang Jadi it's okay, uh, still gonna enjoy my birthday today Thank you so much semua yang sudah give me, uh, gave me the birthday wishes Really appreciate everybody, udah kasih selamat semua di Instagram, di Youtube I really appreciate everybody Dan semoga one day nanti wish gue adalah Um, akan ada sponsor, akan ada brand yang masuk untuk sponsorin vlog IBL gue sih. Jadi, kita mungkin bisa logonya taruh di sini selama vlognya. Jadi, semoga aja ada. Uh, kalau ada yang tertarik brand untuk bisa sponsorin uh, vlog IBL gue, kalian bisa DM gue di Instagram. I will be more than happy sih. So, once again, thank you so much. And now, <sighs> gonna enjoy my birthday dinner. <laughs> Harus makan sedikit sih, karena nanti kita nyampe Singapura tuh jam 2 pagi. Uh, takut ada kalau jam 2 pagi udah gak ada makanan di Singapura kalau lapar. So, it is good untuk nge-snack dulu. Dan ini yang salmon. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that though. Looks so good. Hmm. Rasanya itu beda mau fresh banget sih sini sih. Ya, yeah. so good, so good to be true man, the sushi akhir man, amazing <laughs> Akhirnya, one more flight guys, <laughs> untuk nyampe Jakarta Ini adalah tempat transit terakhir kita, yaitu Singapore Changi Airport Ini 
kalian bisa lihat sekarang jam setengah tiga pagi guys <laughs> jam setengah tiga pagi uh, kita transit sekitar empat setengah jam sebelum kita menuju Jakarta dan ini ramai banget sih guys wah wow, yang tidur banyak juga di sini dan gua akan tidur sini aja lah <laughs> gua pilih spot yang sepi aja jadi semoga bisa tidur sekitar tiga jaman lah kalau bisa tidur tiga jam aja itu udah lumayan banget sekarang sih my body feels oke okay. cuma gua yakin tadi kalau misalkan udah jam sebelas jam dua belas pasti gua jet lag sih nggak mungkin jet lag karena biasanya kalau dari Amerika ke sini pulang ke Indonesia itu bisa jet Lagnya lebih parah tapi cannot wait sih sedikit lagi kita nyampe Jakarta guys habis itu kita akan mandi habis itu baru langsung kita berangkat ke Bandung so ternyata gua nggak bisa tidur guys tadi nyoba sejam muter kiri muter kanan di Nawai <laughs> kayaknya karena mungkin di LA udah siang juga sekarang ini jadi itu kenapa agak susah tidurnya so hari ini kita akan berdandan dengan kopi guys <laughs> kalau di Singapura suka banget ice coffee sih this is the best so hmm. Gua gak tau hari ini kita akan minum berapa kopi demi kuat <laughs> untuk ngeliput prawira dalam bornya Tapi karena ini kita breakfast dulu uh, Traditional Singaporean breakfast <laughs> Toast dan juga eggs Sambil nonton highlightsnya WMB lawan Chad Hobbin kemarin ini So, yeah Hehehe, <laughs> doakan guys hari ini kita kuat guys ya So, kita breakfast dulu and then Sekarang abis ini beneran kita ketemu di Jakarta Tapi kayak ntar di Wush kayaknya ada surprise deh kayaknya di Wush Tapi gue baru dapet info di Discord Katanya kita bisa satu bus dengan seseorang sih Jadi nanti semoga kejadian bener sih I'm crossing my fingers Biar kontennya makin asik Gila kita right on time guys 10.20 Cuma 35 menit doang sebelum kereta cepatnya dateng Dan juga schedule nya Tapi gila langsung ngebut kita beli Yoshinoya guys Takut tuh dari Bandung gak, gak sempet makan Karena nyampe Bandung udah sekitar jam 12 But yeah we made it guys <laughs> Finally kita bisa nonton Prawira lawan Borneo man Super excited Katanya gue satu bus sama Brandon Francis sih, tapi gue belum lihat dia sama sekali. Nanti mungkin ntar kok kita bisa masuk ke dalam kita cari ya, orangnya. Ya. I told you guys we gonna have a surprise. Look who I found guys. Hey, what's up, B? What's up, baby? MVP and champion, man. Welcome back, B. Thank you, baby. How nice you feeling? You. Nice to see you, man. How you feeling, man? I'm just thankful to be back, man. Mm -hmm. Just very happy to be here. Don't got a lot, a lot of things to say. Just, just thankful. Just happy to be back. Yo, the fans. I cannot stop talking about you, man. Every time we talk about imports, they always bring up Brandon Francis, man. <laughs> How you feel about that? I, I'm thankful, man. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful for the fans, for all the love that I got last mm -hmm. year. This year, when they announced it, that I was coming back, it, it was kind of, it was crazy to see that. And I'm very thankful. Mm -hmm. I feel like Indonesia now is my second home. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm glad that I, I was. I'm able to to bring my talent to this uh, special country and you know to just keep helping the league go forward. Man, you trying to play today? You just got off a 29 hour trip. Man, I got to <laughs> I got to go in and at least foul somebody or something. <laughs> and raise my hand, do something, but I I, I got to get in there tonight. Man, you ready for the reception from the fans? That shit going to be crazy. I, I'm not ready for that. I want to see I want to leave in a moment mm -hmm. and it's just everything surreal. You know, uh -huh. being through a lot, um, a lot of learning curves, a lot of, you know, analyzing situations and kind of just, you know, understanding how things work. Um, but I'm so happy to just be able to work, work with a jersey once again, represent the city of Bandung and, you know, to, to do what I do is to play basketball at a high level. Bro, we're so hyped, bro. My we're God. so happy. Nice to see you, my nice boy. Nice to see you, man. You know, it's only up. It's only up from here. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yes, sir. Only 30 minutes before last shit, it was three hours. All right, man. Only the physical minutes, so imagine. Bro, this thing gonna change your life, bro. I know. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty fast. Bro. It is really fast, bro. You're gonna love this. To get in. Last year, we was taking the bus for three hours. And traffic. Plus traffic. Plus traffic. Yeah. Now we got this. <laughs> Lovely. Let's go. Look at his shirt though. <laughs> Please come back. Bro, I swear to God, bro. <laughs> I didn't even know that shirt said that. Oh my God. It's the right moment to wear that shirt, bro. Bro, Where I swear to right? my son. I didn't know. But my son, I swear to God. Because I, I, change, I change clothes every flight. Okay. So for the first flight, it's 12 hours. Oh, wow. I change clothes. For the second one, it's 12 hours. I change clothes. And then for the last one, it's 8. So I bring like... Three shirts, three pants, you know? That's a, that's a funny shirt though. So I didn't even know, bro. I swear <laughs> to God on my son, bro. Bro, welcome back to Bandung, bro. Appreciate it, baby. It's hot, man. <laughs> Just the smell. Just being back in the city, man. This is this is home for me, for I sure. I forgot about the heat, man. 
very hot, and I love it. And Bro. I'm gonna be losing about five kilos in two weeks, and I need that too. It's crazy how we're in the same train, bro. I know. I, I kind of saw you. I put my hat like that. <laughs> so you don't see. And look the hot where you was at. Look, you was right yeah, here. Yeah, I was right here. I was from Los Angeles. Yep. It's crazy, but we're here, bro. Thank you, man. Meant to be, man. Meant thank, to be. We're thank here. you to, to see you again, yeah. man. You helped me a lot. My first year here. I know this year you're going to be there for me. Of course. I'm here for you too, brother. Yeah. You know, I'm always yes, shouting you out and, and putting on for the brand. So. I would love, bro. My boy Rocky P in the house, baby. Yes, sir. Back to Bandung. <laughs> wow. Hey guys, I just arrived in Bandung. Long flight, but that would not stop me. I see you guys at two o'clock. Bidu Kango Sitra. Oh, okay. Yeah, got it. That's good. Very good. Dave might, might be better at, you, uh, at talking in Bahasa, bro. <laughs> I mean, shit, he been here for four years, man. What you expect? I'm gonna get him this year. I was, I was getting good though. Saya butuh. Saya butuh. Telah perjalanan 20 jam dari Los Angeles. Air kita nyampe juga, guys. Ya, udah di Gor Citra kita sekarang ini. Huh, gila lumayan capek dan tadi jujur itu kebetulan banget gue bisa satu kereta sama Brandon Francis itu nggak direncanakan sama sekali dan juga yang paling gila sih gerbongnya bisa sama sih that is crazy jadi kayaknya emang it meant to be emang hokinya gue juga karena gue jujur sebenarnya sempat sempetin ke sini untuk bisa ngelihat game pertamanya Brandon Francis ya gue waktu itu udah bilang I cannot miss it so beruntung lah gue tapi sekarang ini tinggal nunggu kira-kira Brandon dapat menit apa nggak nih dari coach Dave nih jadi sekarang ini gue mau mengcapture aja lah bagaimana momennya dia nanti masuk lagi ke Gor Citra Arena. Made it on time. Let's go.
Seberapa beruntung ini Fernando Manhangsam Dapat arahan dari Yulik Legend langsung Wah, so lucky man Getting a lot of knowledge man Karena James Gis dan sebel IQ nya juga sangat tinggi sih Lucky guy man Manhangsam Lucky guy
iyalah hujan-hujan. Oh, <laughs> iya sini. Belum kosong Saya pribadi secara pribadi saya uh, senang banget karena mereka fight sampai di ujung. Memang beberapa basket easy basket yang miss dan pemain pemain lakukan dan itu juga harus juga kejadian. Tapi ya, itu juga kejadian. Kita terima dengan ini sekarang. Terus untuk nextnya kita nggak ada lagi. Kita nggak turun. Kita bakalan melangkah naik step by step kita menuju ke atas. Terima kasih, Coach Maya dan Mike. What do you think about this game? Um, you know, of course we wanted to start it off with a win, so you know, it was disappointing or whatever, but I think I think we should fight. Now it's just like um, learning scenario, game situation, on like how to really finish games. Um, you know, it's a step-by-step -step process, but we're here to try to turn this thing around, try to show some uh, backbone and some character. You know, it starts with character first. You gotta stand up for yourself, and I think good things will follow. Pertama, selamat sudah jadi head coach sekarang ini. Cuma mau tahu aja sih um, berapa kali latihan sempet dan juga seberapa banyak sistemnya Coach Mail bisa dilatih dan dimasukkan di game kali ini. Empat uh, kali latihan, hmm. satu transition offense, satu set play. Satu inbound play sideline dan satu inbound play baseline. Satu semua berarti ya? Satu semua. Satu semua ini satu. We have no press play, we have no... We just have that one set offense, one transition, one slot, one block. That's it. We just have to make four practice before we go. How happy are you though? How happy are you with the team today? With the fight, the effort? Kalau fight sama effort, saya rasa kita bisa lihat mereka di lapangan apa yang mereka lakuin dari down 4, down 9 points, 8 points and they fight till the finish but and we, we just miss a couple easy pass Thank you coach Oh uh, yeah, I thought, uh, I thought today was tail two halves uh, kind of similar but I think one thing I think everybody in the arena, our team especially, which is most important, is they felt the difference in this team. Uh, the quality of import that we brought in, like a guy like Antonio, uh, a guy like James Gis, and then obviously Brandon, fresh off of a 36-hour flight uh, with no warm-up uh, to come in there and play. Yuda has been out a month and practiced two practices. Uh, Hans has been out all week, so it's been a kind of quite an interesting month for us, to be honest. Uh, but I'm super proud of this team. I think uh, the resolve and the um, focus to come back in the game after they took the lead and to make plays and to do it uh, very intentional. Uh, we weren't doing anything on the outside, so we stuck testing and started going inside. And I think uh, a couple of his plays in the paint changed the game. And they had to start helping, and I think that opened up Hans. I think that opened up Yuda's threes uh, late in the game. I think that was the difference. And I was very proud of our defense, uh, honestly, the whole game. I thought some of their local system threes, um, they hit more than their average. Uh, and we will live with that, but I thought uh, man for man, I thought we defended extremely well. You can see the quality with Hester and James Gisson's defensive uh, abilities. Um, and so we're so happy with that and I think uh, we know we have so much more room to grow and we can be so much better and uh, the best thing is we play tomorrow so we can go out there and put on a better performance and I believe we will. Yes. What do you think about your debut today? Uh, it definitely was exciting, you know, with the fans, I love and obviously I, I definitely enjoyed myself, you know, with the guys and made things a lot comfortable uh, for me going out there for my first game. And, I just had fun, you know, you know, thank God we got the win and, you know, just looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, so 
I think uh, to the first question, I believe that uh, when you know, you know as a coach. Uh, I think the energy, uh, the vibe, uh, it was just off. It was really off. Um, I don't necessarily blame the last three reports. They're all three quality players. Uh, but for, to be honest, I think it was just a situation where it wasn't the best fit. Uh, one thing about this guy, one thing about James, one thing about Brandon is all three of them are alphas, alpha leaders. Uh, I thought we missed that for the last three guys. Um, and they were kind of looking for our locals to lead at times. And it's like, wait a minute, it's got to be flipped. Uh, these guys have played all over the world. They've you know, played so many big games all over the world and been playing professional basketball for such a long time. So um, you could tell from day one when they came into the building, the energy, the leadership, the, the vote being vocal, uh, the boys just kind of attracted to that. And so we knew that we had to go out and get leaders. We had to get alphas. We had to get toughness. And I think we had a lot of toughness last year, and I thought in our first five games this year, we lacked that. Um, and so I think, you know, bringing in a, a EuroLeague legend like James Giz, uh bringing in a guy who's played all over the world, in Europe and Asia, put up big points, and then obviously Brandon. I think Brandon, as you guys know, the energy is just crazy, man. His passion for the game, his passion for the fans, his passion to win. And we were missing it, to be quite honest. And so I think, uh, you know, with a couple conversations with Brandon and a couple heart-to-hearts, I think uh, we figured out everything, and uh, I couldn't be more happier to have these three guys. You did expect the one from Brandon, but did you expect also this from that? Uh, you know, he, he's, I guess, you know, to be honest, he's still learning from that. He doesn't understand. He thinks it's a soft foul, like he's just tapping the guy, but on FIBA rules, if you're not going for the ball, it's an intentional foul, so. I'm going to show him the video and try to teach him. I'm even going to show him a different video, a FIBA rules video, so that he can see the, the, the truth behind it. But, uh, you know, luckily, uh, you know, we still have him for tomorrow. And uh, I think just, you know, it's just so exciting to have these three guys here. I think everybody, you know, can attest for that. And uh, I think uh, really the sky's the limit for us now moving forward. Coach. mutual decision. I think, first of all, I put it in his hands because he knows his body. Uh, he knows, uh, you know, if he's ready or not, if his legs are there or not. And uh, obviously, Brandon's a competitor and he wants to play and he wants to win and he wants to make his debut. Okay? Uh, as you guys know, but the reality is we need him, right? And we need him, to be honest. I mean, we need all three of these guys, to be quite honest. Uh, these teams that have four Americans, five Americans, uh, you know, you're at a little bit of a disadvantage there. So I think uh, just his energy, his juice that he brought to the game, and uh, me trusting him and knowing him, uh, I know he could go out there and, and give us quality minutes. So I'm very happy and uh, we'll keep going. What did you yell to Yuda in the third quarter to get him going? Uh, the censored version? Uh, <laughs> So, you know, me and you have a long relationship. Uh, he knows I'm pretty tough on him, and for good reason. And I think uh, he's such a good player. I still believe he's the best point guard in the country. Um, and he's not even playing his best right now. But uh, he was been out the whole month. And uh, he's had surgery on his throat. And uh, he just got back for two practices, and they were like, no contact. So for him to just hop in and play shows a lot about who he is shows a lot about uh, the, the type of person he is and the character that he has. So in that in that time, I just told him he was getting a little bit too wild. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily blame it on almost reaching a thousand. Uh, it felt like that as a coach. I'm watching him like you're kind of forcing it right now, and uh, he didn't need to. He didn't need to. He just needed to let the game come to him, just like he did at the end with Hester and James, where they found him on some of those plays and he hits the shots. He just let the game come to him, and so. Um, you know, you is not even close to 100% at this point. Uh, he still has a lot to do, you know, get his shape, his condition. He lost almost 6 kg. Wow. Um, and so, you know, he's got a lot to do. But at the end of the day, uh, we are not Pereira without Yuta. And uh, he is, you know, he is the, 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 the guard 
about the national team. I mean, he's a legit basketball player, so to have him in those moments, uh, it kind of felt like that finals when he hit those shots and the crowd erupts, and it's like, boy, deja vu a little bit. Um, so again, just having these three imports, a guy like Yuta to rely on, to uh, essentially give you the impact of a heritage player, I think. And so uh, we're gonna rely on Yuta the whole year. He knows he's got a score for us this season, uh, so that we can keep that, that, uh, that score ticking. Uh, but I'm very proud of him, and uh, you know I'm just so happy that he was able to push through. The skip after the shot, though, kind of a yeah, little bit of deja vu. You know, because, because, uh, <laughs> I always try to get that out of him, man. Like, Hess, can, Hess knows he's been here for a little time, but he yeah. can understand, like, I want guys to have a presence about themselves. Like, don't come out here in the shell, don't come out here hiding and worrying. Be who you are. Be you the Sabutra, be you the Sabutra. Come out there with your chest out, your chin yeah. up, and you that guy, you know? You got these other guys who won't even, you know, okay, no disrespect, but they won't be on the national team in their whole careers. And they're making plays, and they're trying to hype up the crowd. I'm saying, wait a minute, you're you. you know? <laughs> Don't ever forget that. And I think these guys got to always remember that presence matters. You know, Brandon Francis steps on the floor, everybody's like, whoosh. Yeah. He steps on the floor, they're like, hey, that's, you know, people understand that. So you got to go out there and make sure that your presence is felt, always. And uh, I just wanted him to understand, like, you that dude, man. That was that skip, like, don't forget that. You know? <laughs> don't forget that. So that's what, that's what it was. Yeah. Thank you, Coach. Yeah. Let's get Hess to talk a little bit. Two big blocks, actually, uh, in the fourth quarter and all over time. Blocked by Hess. That was crazy, though. Know? Just, what, can you just talk about it? Uh, talk, uh, take us through that moment. I love, I love LeBron James came out of that. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, but most importantly, man, just, just being there for my team, you know, I, I, I just, that's, that's just a winning mentality, champion's mentality. I, I don't believe in no free, nothing free. Yeah. So, you know, and they, uh, early in the game, they was getting a lot of, uh, like, offensive rebounds, so I was a little bothered by that. So, I seen my moment, and I was like, yo, I'm gonna make this happen. I gotta make up for the mistakes that I made early in the game. So, you know, just two key blocks that helped us down the stretch, and, you know, just thank you for getting that. As an import, you practice the whole month with James and suddenly there's a guy just came in today Brandon <laughs> how hard was it for you guys to adjust or was it easy I was happy he was here <laughs> <laughs> I don't know because <laughs> you never practiced with him when you're, when you're a professional basketball player it's easy to adapt and adjust to anybody who comes to the team it's never like oh man what are we gonna do what are we about to do no Bring that ego, we need that. Yes. That's what we need in order to defend that championship. I'm, I'm gonna hang up a banner. I'm not here to just play, no. I'm here, I'm gonna hang up another banner. So let's defend that. I'm glad he's back here. I'm glad we're getting our team back. Like Coach Shea, we got you the back. We got everybody. The pieces are starting to fall back into place. This is our first official game together. Back to it tomorrow, and after that, we got a whole week of practice to get ready, bro. We gotta handle it tomorrow first. Yeah, let's just go from there. Yes, yes. sir. Thanks, guys. Yeah. My guy, <laughs> two big shots, man. Gila. Panasnya lama ya, abis, abis. Abis operasi aman tuh, sak, susah. Gimana? Um, Sebenarnya lebih ke baran sih kok. Barannya kan udah sebulan gak ngapa-ngapain. Iya, katanya turun 6 kilo. Besar banget, 6 kilo. Damn. I, was, I look skinny, bro. I know. You see that? You can eat? <laughs> gak bisa sama sekali. Tiga minggu makan bubur doang. Tiga minggu makan bubur doang. Makan solid food sama kali. Damn. Tapi it took you a while dong, yeah. untuk warm up. But two big shots dong. Eh, hey, semua. Gimana tadi? Coba Harusnya. ceritain dikit dong. Ngambil dua tembakan terakhir. Um, Sebenernya, ya gue cukup senang sama Coach Dad. Keep trusting me. Yeah. He keep trusting me. Kita udah, gue udah miss like six shots, tapi yeah. dia masih tetap percaya sama gua. Ya, ini soal ini des. Mau rekam lah, mau rekam. Dimaki ya. Pasti lah. Di kuarter tiga, <laughs> gue tadi nanya sama dia. Katanya kadang-kadang kayak lu terlalu pengen nyoba ngepoin katanya. Ya, ada one more tadi kan. Yeah. Tapi ya, oh saya emang let, let the game come. Udah seribu belum sih? Udah. Congratulations, one thousand point yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Mau rekam, mau rekam. <laughs> yes sir. Besok. <laughs> Masih stay or? Balik, langsung balik abis ini Good luck tomorrow Bye Bye guys okay. Oh my god coach, don't mess up your shoes coach Don't mess up your shoes in the rain Oh my god
Those kicks, though. Oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. They're pictures in the rain though, that's crazy. Yo guys, gila gue nyaris sedikit lagi ketinggalan kereta feeder gue. Gila cuma selang satu menit aja sih. Gue sprint guys dari pintu depan sampai ke dalam stasiun gila. Sampe ngos-ngosan dan sekarang ini gue udah di pada larang. Kita udah otw balik ke Jakarta karena gue emang gak nginep sengaja biar bisa menghemat hotel juga. <laughs> Jadi itu kenapa gue harus balik ke Jakarta. Tapi what a game man, what amazing game. Gue bener-bener gak nyesel banget sih. Bela-belain dari LA langsung ke Bandung untuk nonton game hari ini. Shout out to, to Brandon Francis for being so nice. Udah mau bikin konten bareng. And of course shout out to Yuda man. 1000 point club yo masih muda dia berapa dua empat tahun kali ya tapi udah seribu point eh tadi gila dua kali dikasih big shot at the end malah awal awal dia tadi struggling banget apalagi dia habis operasi amandel kemarin ini but yuda always uh, comes up in the clutch man gila sih gimana -gila keren banget tadi hari ini yuda uh, but once again gila game sampai overtime eh <laughs> ngos ngosan tadi nontonnya tegang juga and borneo Uh, shout out juga kepada Coach Mail, congratulations Coach Mail. Uh, gue bilang nih well deserve opportunity banget dan lo bisa lihat Borneo mainnya udah jauh lebih bagus sekarang ini dan tadi hampir aja menang di kandangnya Prawira. So only good things coming untuk Borneo menurut gue ke depannya. Mike Cross juga lumayan jago sih <laughs> and Agam do. Agam gue sih kenapa lawan Prawira selalu jago banget sih. And my train is here guys <laughs> So gue harus naik ke atas ya uh, Kereta gue bawa once again Thank you so much so guys yang udah ngikutin journey gue Dari LA hingga Bandung Really appreciate everybody for the support Once again uh, Jangan lupa untuk like Jangan lupa untuk comment And I will see you guys again Tomorrow SM Bali kali ya SM Bali kayaknya akan seru sih So thank you so much again for watching I will see you guys again very soon Peace out everybody